Hello everyone, this is Malki Asad, a plastic surgery resident in the US and in this video I'm gonna share with you tips that will help you ace the step 2 CK exam if you're in a hurry. And I'll also share with you a detailed study plan and schedule that can help you pass the exam in just two months. The first tip when it comes to acing the step 2 CK exam, especially if you're in a hurry, is picking the right resources and not overwhelming yourself with so many of them. For an exam like step 2 CK that is mainly clinical knowledge, I highly recommend you do a question bank. And the two most common question banks used are UWorld and AMBOSS. I've seen students that had good experiences with either of them, so it's gonna depend also on what kind of style you like or you prefer more but if you had to pick between either of them i would recommend going with you all another great resource that can supplement your studying from a question bank is the high yield files from the match guide these are very comprehensive detailed notes written in a question and answer style of only the high yield topics and you can use them at the beginning of your studying before you start the question bank or alongside that subject you're studying from the question bank and the best thing is you can access these files fully for free by signing up in the link that I'll leave in the description below. Now some ask me about books. I don't recommend studying books for the Step 2 CK exam, especially because of the nature of that exam, testing mainly clinical knowledge topics. Also some of you asked me about studying Step 1 topics for the Step 2 CK because these are showing more and more on the Step 2 CK exam. And for that I recommend studying the high yield files of Step 1 from the match guy. These files are also available for free for you and you can get them by signing up through the link that I'll leave in the description below. And through these, you can go over the commonly tested things on the step one exam and these are likely uh, to show, if they're gonna ask you about something, these are likely gonna be the ones that show on the step two CK exam. And finally, if you have any difficulty with the biostatistics part of the step two CK exam, we have a very good course that you can probably finish in half a day that can go over the high yield topics of the biostatistics, explain these topics to you very well so you don't have any problems with those, especially these are more and more commonly tested on the Step 2 CK exam. So in summary, study a question bank, UWorld or AMBOSS, I prefer UWorld. The high yield files for Step 2 from the Match Guy, the high yield files for Step 1 from the Match Guy, and if you have difficulty with biostatistics, check out the biostatistics course. And we might be rolling a course that goes over the high yield topics of Step 1 for Step 2 students, so stay tuned for that and I'll leave the link for that once it's released in the description of this video. Now the second tip when it comes to acing the Step 2 CK exam when you're in a hurry is knowing how to study the question bank. Because I'm sure you've seen these scenarios or stories of people who studied UWorld and got to 50 and others studied the same material and got to 70. And it's mainly how you study the materials. Because studying a question bank is more tricky than just studying a book. And I have a detailed video on how to study question banks for the step exams, but here I'm gonna go over a few tips that can help you ace question banks. When you go over a block, I highly recommend you do it in a timed mode as if you're in the exam. So you're prepping yourself for the big day at least one to two times a day. When you're studying the explanation afterwards, make sure you study the full explanation, not just the answer to the question. Don't get stuck in an endless round of repetition. After you study the explanation, you understand the concepts, you summarize it to yourself, move on. I generally recommend doing system-wise so you can compare and contrast the information and you'd get to do random questions when you're doing your self-assessments and make sure you take some notes in an efficient way so you can review them after you're done with the first round of your question bank. The third tip when it comes to acing the step to CK exam, especially if you're in a hurry, is identifying your goal. What is the score target you're hoping for? If you're in a competitive specialty, your score might be higher than somebody who's applying to a less competitive specialty. And you can check our blog on the average scores per specialty per type of applicant that I'll leave the link for that in the description of this video. And you have to be realistic about that. You can't say I want to score 250 when your MBME is giving you around 210 and you have a week or two to study for the exam. So identify how many hours a day do you have to study for the step 2 CK, how many days a week because some people are working and don't have the full week available, the full day available. And based on that and your scores on the assessment exams and your progress, you can identify how many resources do you still need to study and if you have enough time to do that. So be realistic about your score goal and how much time do you have for studying. The fourth tip when it comes to acing the step to CK when you're in a hurry is self-assessment exams. Because after you identify your target score, if you're meeting that target score or much above that on your self-assessment exams, you're ready to take the exam. And I recommend you do self-assessment exams early on, especially if you took the step one already. I would recommend doing one at the beginning of your preparation, one in the middle of you going through the question bank, one at the end, 
maybe one every other week and one to two the week before your exam and you can assess your progress your mistakes how you're improving and again if you're ready to take the exam available self-assessment exams are the mbmes your self assessments the free sample from the mbme and by the way you can find the answers and full explanation for the free sample from the MBME on our website themagicguy.com and I'll leave the link for that in the description of this video. And the final tip when it comes to acing the step 2 exam, especially if you're in a hurry, is good study techniques or what some people call studying smart. That includes active learning and that's why studying in a question bank style where you have a question and answer, the high yield files that we will provide you, they're all question and answers. These are all active learning because when you read the question, you start thinking about the answer. And even if you fail to find the answer, reading the answer at that time would solidify that information more than just reading it passively. Spaced repetition, that's why I wanted you to not get locked in this vicious cycle of repeating and repeating where it doesn't really help make this short-term memory into a long-term memory. What will make that transition happen if you study the information, give it some time, a week or two, and when you come back during your review time, that will solidify the information from short-term to long-term. And most importantly, having a detailed study plan every day with minimizing distractions. So when you wake up, have a very detailed plan of how your day should look like. Or even before you sleep the day before, have a detailed plan of how the next day should look like. So you wake up, you're studying for an hour, you have five minute break, then you're coming back for studying, another five minute break, maybe uh, having breakfast, uh, two hours of studying, half an hour break. So everything should be very organized. Even your breaks should have a, an alarm that tells you five minutes is over, 10 minutes is over, your one hour of studying is over. So you're always measuring how much time you're spending in each section of that day. And you will see once you implement that strategy, your productivity will skyrocket compared to before. And minimizing distractions, this act of organizing your day will minimize your distraction significantly. Because if you're in your studying block in this one hour of dedicated studying, your phone is away. You can't keep your phone and get on Instagram and TikTok during your studying time. You can do that during your five minutes. But because now it's very organized, it's only five minutes, you have to log off after these five minutes and come back to studying. So your hour of studying is actually an hour of studying. And if you need help from a tutor to help you build a study plan, study schedule, show you what is high yield, low yield, explain topics to you, we have phenomenal tutors who are ready to help you. And we trust our tutors so much that we made the first half an hour fully for free. So if you like the tutor, you like their style, and you wanna sign up for a long-term package with them, you already have tried the tutor. So it's literally risk-free for you. And you can explore all the different packages we have in the link that I'll leave in the cards above or the link in the description below. And now let's go over a detailed study schedule that will help you finish the Step 2 CK exam in two months. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna put the resources on the left side, the days required on the right side, and then we're gonna get the total number of days to finish the exam. And of course, you can adjust that based on your progress and how many days you have. I'm gonna start by including the question bank. If we decide to go with UWorld, we have 4,200 questions for the step two exam. If we go with around 100 questions, a day, which which might be a lot for some people, but is generally not a lot for uh, others because you've already done your step one in most situations. You were doing these rotations, so you're getting tested almost on a daily basis for uh, step two topics. So if it's too much, you can decrease that, and that will of course change the number of days required to finish it. But you can adjust that based on your progress as well. So that will transition into forty two days. We're gonna give the high yield files I told you about. They're fully available for you for free. You can study them along your world or after or before, totally up to you. And they will give you the high yield concepts of what is tested on the exam and you can get them by clicking on the link that I'll leave in the cards above or the description below. Let's say we're gonna give around four days for these. Of course, we're gonna block some days for self-assessment exams and let's say we want to do eight of them each one is around four blocks so around half a day for each so that will translate into four days and then we're gonna leave some time for reviewing let's say we're gonna give around 10 days for reviewing so the total will be 60 days or two months for this plan 
And this plan is assuming that you're fully dedicated to studying step two. And as I said, you can adjust it based on your progress and how much you can finish a day. I hope this video provided you with some tips on how to ace the step two CK exam. If you need any help with your step two CK exam, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at And don't forget to grab the high yield files I told you about that I'll leave in the description of this video. If you have any questions about this specific video, drop them in the comments below. I hope this video provided you with some insight on how to navigate the step to CK, especially if you're in a hurry. If you find any value in this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos of my YouTube channel. Before you go, make sure to check out the full tutorial I recorded on how to answer abstracts and drug ads on the step to CK exam, and you can watch it by clicking here. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in, and good luck on your exam.